Episode 11, The Legend of Black T-Rex and the Earth Defenders. Yeah, that was a good nap. Huh? Yeah, what's this? Raptors, come meet me at the training grounds. Bring Rexy, Ultima, and Toro, too. Huh? Um, okay. So you got it too, Echo? Yeah, Blue. Did you? Yeah. Let's go. Alright. That's- Ow! Ow! Hey, watch where you're going! Uh, so, so, so sorry, Blue. Huh? Oh, it's just you. What are you guys doing here? Um, we got a message from Dan saying he wants to meet us at the training grounds. Wait, you too? Yeah. What does he want? I don't know. If it's from Master, it must be important. I have better things to do. Hey, show some respect, human. Oh, don't make me teach it respect you to you. Oh, is that a challenge? Boo, Cotton, that's enough. Yeah. Stay out of this, kid. Yeah, Deku. Uh, um. Fine, Ultima, we'll keep going. Come on, humans. Okay. So, Echo. Hmm? Oh, it's you. Uh, wait, who are you again? Very funny. I'm Uraka. Ah, yes, the floaty one. Hmm. So, what do you think Dan is calling us for? To be honest, I don't really know. I may know Master well, but not that well. Must be something important if he wants to, if he wants to talk to you, human scumbags. Hmm? Hey, isn't that class 1B? Oh, hey, guys. What? More humans? What are you guys doing here? We got invited by Dan as well. Same here. Toshinoi, what, is go what the heck is going on? What did you do to my master? I didn't do anything. He just called me too. Ah, finally, you all decided to show up. Master! Dan! Ah, there you are, Dan. And Scorpion? Yes, hello, young ones. All right, everybody. You better all come with me inside. There's gonna be a lot of explanations gonna happen. Um, okay. So, remember how I've all told you about how my grandfather was the leader of the original Earth Defenders? Yeah, Master, I remember. Yeah, same. Toshinori? Yes, I remember. Well, you see, last night I'd done a little bit of research on what happened those 50 years ago in my universe. And I believe I found the answers I might need. Not all of them, but some answers that, that might be able to help me with Black. How so, Master? All right. Well, you, you, you all might want to sit down for this. Um, okay? Eh. Hey, want some popcorn? Yeah, to, yeah, give me some. Okay. No butter! Okay, okay, okay. I know you, Master. Go on. All right, then. Um, Toshinari, Scorpion, you might want to come over here, too. This is practically your story as well. Oh. Okay, young Dan. Hmm. All right, then, guys. It all started 50 years ago in my universe. Oh, man. It's still been a week ever since I got these claws. And I still don't know what to do with them. Man. Huh? What was that? Hello? Peekaboo, Yamato! What the heck? It's a raptor. Not just any raptor. A talking raptor? You bet. Ding, 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 ding. Um, okay. What are you doing here? I came looking for you. Eh, I don't have time for this. See you around. No, wait, 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 wait. Hold the phone right there. Okay. I am General Goldeyes, leader of the Raptor Squad. Raptor Squad? Yes. Okay. What else? Okay, well, first of all, those aren't ordinary claws, human. Those are called Dragon Claws. Dragon Claws? You bet. And you see, I came to give you a message from somebody who told me that you're going to be the next leader of the Earth Defenders. Um, okay. So wait, what is your name, by the way? Well, I don't really have... Well, I mean, I have a wife and a kid, but I don't really have a name. I usually just call myself Mark. Mark? Yeah, I don't like Marks. 
Um, how about leader? Leader? Well, yeah, it suits you because you seem like a leader, and you you are going to be a leader. Huh. Okay, then. So, what else have you come to, to tell me, Gold Eyes? Well, you see, many years ago, during dinosaur time, there was a great war between the dinosaur tribes. They all started to fight against each other. But it wasn't all worth it because all of them were just dying. And the reason for that was because of this dinosaur. And he was a T-Rex, but his name was called Rex. Or in this case, since he brought terror, we just call him Terror. Terror Rex. Huh. Alright. But you see, the four dinosaur tribes of the leaders figured out it wasn't just the fight that brought him to war. It was all because of terror. So they all knew what they had to do. They ordered their tribes to stop fighting and all of them to go in one place together. So all the four, the main four tribe leaders went up to the volcano mountain to fight against terror. But what they didn't expect to come was that an old enemy of theirs, Aquasaurus, was working alongside terror. Not to mention along with his henchmen. Wait, 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 wait. Did you say Aquasaurus? Uh, yeah. Why? He seems like the dinosaur from that Dinosaur Strike game for the Wii. Huh? Well, I didn't even know that. Anyway, that's off topic right now. Let me get back to my story. All right, all right. So, yes. After they all figured out Aquasaurus was working with terror, they needed to all work even harder to defeat him. So... The Stegosaur leader took on Halivosaurus and Casasaurus. The Triceratops leader took on Naxoceratops. The Raptor leader took on Gorgoraptor. And that left the T-Rex leader to deal with Terror and Aquasaur. They managed to get defeated by them because they were too powerful. So they just retreated for now. So wait, they were going to fight him again? Yes, but this time... He had to convince Aquasaur and his men to work for them, or be on their side. Why? Well, since Aquasaur is part of the T-Rex tribe, the T-Rex leader wanted to get his brother back. Oh, I see. Okay, what else? Well, he's, well, after they trained for like a couple months, they went back to the Volcano Mountains. So they can take on Aquasaur and Terror again. But this time, t the T-Rex leader took on Aquasaur on his own. And when in their in the middle of their battle, Aquasaur realized this was this wasn't all worth it. So in the end, he saw the true evil and that was terror. And he apologized for all of his actions for what he's did. The leaders forgave him. And then Aquasaur's henchmen and the four great leaders took on terror together. Terror was losing badly. He was at the edge of a corner of a cliff. And one final strike by the leader T-Rex and Aquasaur together, they pushed him into the volcano, thinking that he died from burn and death. Did he? No. He never died. What? You see, for some odd reason, we don't know how B Terra survived. But within the few million years, he began to grow and grow, getting bigger. And soon enough, absorbing the energy from the lava. And at this time, we never called him Terror anymore. We call him Black T-Rex. Because of the black markings he has and burns. Ah, that actually makes a lot of sense. But what does all of this have to do with me anyway? We well, you see, your power is the only thing that can stand a chance against Black. Really? Yes, but... Just you by yourself won't be enough to battle him and his army. You're gonna need some muscle or help. What kind of help? Luckily, the guy who sent me here knows a lot of others who might be able to help us. So, we better get going. Come on, let's go! Uh, okay. So wait, that's how Gordis met the old master? Yes, Boo, that's how he met her. Wow, I didn't see that coming. Yeah, ever since then... Gorais and my grandfather had that mutual bond between another, kind of like how me and Blue. Oh, 
So wait. Godai said they were going to go get some help to fight Black, right? Yes. And that's where All Might and Hanzo come in. Ah, oh, yes. I remember. Yes, so do I, Hanzo. I remember meeting him for the first time. Here we are, leader. Huh. Oh, so you must be the guys that I'm meeting here. That's right. My name is Hanzo Asasi. The name's All Might. I'm Shimura. And that guy over there, he doesn't really like to talk. All he does is growl. I don't really think he's a talkative one, Gorais. Yeah, kind of looks like it. Anyway, it's an honor to meet you. Yeah, likewise. Shimura, right? Yep, that's me. You seem pretty powerful. So do you. Care for a sparring match? We'll see about that who would win. Guys, no, no sparring. Probably do that later. Right now, we're trying to locate Black. And I believe my cousin already found him. What's the dealio, cuz? Oh, hey, Gold Ice. Yeah, I think I found where Black is hiding. I followed some of his henchmen through a portal. And it looks like the portal led us to Hawaii. It doesn't look like he's here, but when I looked into the volcano, he's resting. Or more like nesting. I don't know. But let's just make sure he doesn't make the volcano m more active than it already is. I mean, it's not active right now, so yeah. Okay, good job. Yeah. I'll send you to the coordinates so that way you can find me. All right, cuz. See you in a bit. Okay, bye. Bye. All right, guys. We found our lead. Also, the military is also helping us so we can get there. We Are we really taking out Black here and now? Yeah. We are. But really? You know, if you weren't so scared, you wouldn't have to come. Who the heck are you? Oh, that's just Quaid. Yeah, me and Saber Fang have faced a lot of creatures. So, Black doesn't really scare us. Maybe you. Oh, is that a challenge, Quaid? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Hmm. You picked a good one, Gold Ice. Of course I did. I have good eyes. Alright then. Well, Leader, you ready to take on Black? Of course I am, Quaid. Let's go find this reptile. Alright guys, let's go. Yep, let's go. Wait, Master, who the heck is Quaid? Oh, he's another member of the Earth Defenders. I didn't know there was another member up until now. When I saw the, the data from my grandfather's old diary entries, I found out about him. Ah, okay. So, what happened next, Dan? Okay, Midoriya. This is where things get a little tricky for... Our heroes. Why? Well, you see, when the Earth Defenders got the coordinates, they met up with the military and found the volcano where Black was nesting. They led on the attack, but Black and his minions were too powerful to take down. So the Earth Defenders and the military lost, and then Black and his men just disappeared out of thin air. That fast? Huh, I thought your grandfather was smart. Shut up, human, before I stab you! <laughs> Blue, that's enough. Yeah, he's being disrespectful to your grandfather. How can I not? Eh, true point. Anyway, Bakugo, say something like that again. I'll chop you on the neck so bad you have a bruise there for a year. <laughs> Whatever. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, it was actually two years ever since Black was seen again. That long? Yeah. But in the meantime... My grandfather was training with the rest of the Earth Defenders, including Goku and Frieza and some of their friends. No wonder he's so powerful. Yep, or in this pace. Or in this case, OP. Is that why you're so powerful? You're OP as well? Not really. Yeah, he will someday. What? Yeah, whatever. Anyway, the second attack on Black. They didn't really beat him again. What? How? Yeah, what lousy heroes. What was that? Nope, no, I didn't say anything. No, 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 no. Yeah, that's right, Echo. You better run. Anyway, yeah. But they did manage to do some damage to their minion to his minions. Well, that's a good start. Yeah, I guess so. But then he wasn't seen again until five more years. Why is there like a, a few year time skip when they haven't seen Black? Yeah. Something tells me he kinda likes hibernate, I guess. 
for a long period of time. And once he's ready, he comes out of hiding. That actually makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Anyway, after the next five years, my grandfather finally took on Black head to head. But my grandfather did lose to him. But he did manage to leave a couple of marks on him. That way he would remember. And that made Black mad because he's usually not easy to take down or get hit. So that made Black really mad. Yeah, Black doesn't know what's coming to him. Yeah. But then, after that, Black got mad and he became naive. What do you mean? Well, you see, I was right about him hibernating and that's how he get his energy. But when he doesn't hibernate, his energy is low. So then the Earth Defenders, just by themselves, no military or any help from anyone else, they took him down. My master did something called like a dragon obliteration, I think. I think that's one of his like special moves. I don't know. But with that move, Black was gone along with his henchmen. Or I thought he was gone. Or they thought he was gone. But that's the thing, Master. How did he survive? I don't know. That's what I'm trying to figure out. But then... It was a price. How? Well, you see, my grandfather never really died to Black. Of course, he did get a couple burns on him. But none of them were too bad. But by doing that dragon obliterate move, it made him almost lose his life. And it did. He was in the hospital for almost like a month ever since then. Wait, Master, I thought you said Black T-Rex killed him. Well, not exactly, Blue. Black T-Rex did leave some marks on him. A couple wounds, scars, and burns. But the main reason why he was killed is because he used that attack. Once you use an attack like that, there's no going back. So wait... Is that why you don't use that much of your power, Dan? Yes, Midoriya. I don't want to risk my life like that. I want to see a lot of things before I leave this world. And I don't want to, I don't want to die before I see it all. Wise words, Master. Hmm. But yeah, ever since then, my grandfather has been in the hospital. His wife and his daughter have been seeing him almost ever since he got in there. Wait, his wife? You mean your grandmother? And his daughter? Your mom? That's right. But he was in the hospital for longer than expected. What do you mean? Well, you see... My mom was like around my age when he was in the ho when he got into the hospital. Oh. But when I was born, that's when he passed. Wait, what? What? No, Rexy. He never met me. That's why I despise villains along with Black. Because I never got the chance to see my grandfather. <sighs> it makes me mad every time on what that cold-blooded lizard did to my grandfather. I've hated him ever since then. So, by defeating Black, you're doing it to avenge your grandfather? Not just avenge or revenge, but to make sure all other universes are safe, and that way evildoers like Black don't hurt them ever again. And ever since then, I've always thought about him, how much I miss him, even though, even though I never met him at all. I agree, young Dan. Your grandfather was a good friend. Hmm. He was a great ally, a good comrade, and a good soul. It's a shame his life had come to an end like that by a villain. Yeah, but a part of me always thinks that he'll always look after me, no matter life or death. I always think that.
Not just your grandfather, Master, but the other Earth Defenders who 